I composed a beautiful letter to you in the sleepless nightmares of the night and it has all gone. I say this is a wild dream but it is this dream I want to realize life and literature combined in the mornings where we left off. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Melting clouds immersed in sunshine and happiness and I am floating with you, in you, aflame and melting. Like the movement of clouds, their lightness and smoothness and the heavily variety of outline and tint, my inexplicable love. My tenderness, my happiness, what words can I write for you? How strange that although my life's work is moving a pen over paper, I don't know how to tell you how I desire you. Ah, such agitation and such divine peace. I can listen no longer in silence. I must speak to you. You pierce my soul. I am half destruction, half hope. There was much more to letter writing than simply dashing off a note. There were rules for proper correspondence, encompassing everything from acceptable shades of paper and ink to penmanship, wax seals and conditions under which a woman must write in the third person. Use good pens. Bad pens make bad writers, waste time, spoil paper and irritate the temper. Perfectly plain paper Thick, smooth is the most elegant. The handwriting should be clear and yet not too large and bold. It should possess some character and style. Close and open your letter with the proper sentiment. Folding the paper itself and the gummed envelope is perfectly correct. Cover the paper with your customized perfume. Use pressed flowers and leaves if you may like. But a neat seal of red sealing wax always gives a refined look to a letter. Add some highlighting shining powder on the seal wax on your initial letter. Now decorate your envelope as you like. Letter writing is in fact but conversation carried on with the pen. When distance or circumstances prevent the easier method of exchanging ideas by spoken words. Write therefore as you would speak with the person to whom your letter is addressed seated beside you. I always find something very fascinating about the way of offline correspondence through art of letter writing specially. Like how were those pages handmade beautifully and decorated through emotions and passions following the immense patience on the other hand. So I just try to retreat the essence of pen pal and letter writing in my way. And the next part is a craft art video or behind the scenes you may say. So enjoy. Let's start by making DIY vintage paper. For that, we need to make some coffee. Yes, add 2 tablespoons of coffee and mix it with warm water to make a dark brownish mixture. Then tear the edges of A4 paper to bring uneven edge effect and crumble the paper to make folds. Then it's time to show some artistic creativity. Color the entire paper and stain it with coffee color. After coloring, let it dry in air or sunlight. This is totally optional, but to edge the pages more, Burn the edges slightly. 
Next is to make envelope but without glue. This is my favorite go to envelope making technique. It's like page locking. Now, as I mentioned previously, you can also make an envelope with the letter itself. This is very easy indeed. Then to the most exciting part which is wax seeding. For that, take some old crayons and candle pieces or hot glue. For the stamp, using different engraved coins are my absolute favorite. Take any cylindrical thing having round cap, then with a both side tape, stick a coin on it. Now burn the crayons to the liquid and let's seal it. you will like this video as I have myself enjoyed it immensely. Thank you.